Hello everyone, my name is Andrew, I'm one of the astronomers at the Planetarium in Glasgow Science Centre and welcome to our Galaxy Spirals workshop. In this workshop we're going to be making our own galaxy spirals which we can hang up around the home like a mobile. And I'm also going to teach you a little bit about galaxies themselves. So let's start off super simple. I hope everyone knows the name of the planet we live on. It's Earth. And Earth isn't just part of our solar system, it is also part of our galaxy as well. We call our galaxy the Milky Way. Galaxies are huge collections of stars and planets that are held together by gravity. And gravity is the force that is keeping our feet on the ground right now. Our galaxy is what we call a spiral galaxy and it looks a little bit like this. And within our galaxy, we live somewhere just around here. Because we live inside our galaxy, we don't see it as these lovely spirals. We see it as this silvery, dusty band that goes across the sky which you can only really see if you're far away from the city and in a really dark night. But what we're looking at when we see the Milky Way from down here on Earth is one of the arms of those spirals. So hopefully that will give you a bit of understanding of what galaxies are. So now it's time to begin our workshop. For this workshop, what you'll need is a piece of card, preferably black. I'm actually using origami paper for this, but it doesn't matter what you use too much as long as you can draw on it. Other than that, you will need a sharp pencil you will need some blue tack, you'll need some thread, some glue, some craft supplies, and a pair of scissors, which means you will also need some parental supervision as well. To start making our spiral galaxies, the first thing we want to do is draw our spiral. Now, if you do have black card, it's best to use something like a white pencil or a pencil you can see. But for me, I'm gonna use some origami paper, which has two colors on both sides, and I'm gonna use the lighter side because I want to draw on the other side. So first of all, Let's start by drawing a little center point so it gives me a reference. And then what I want to do is draw a spiral going out from that center point all the way to the edge. Not bad. I'm feeling fairly brave today, so I think I might try and do two spirals within each other. Let's see how I do. I did okay. It's a fair enough reference point that I can start cutting out with but it doesn't need to be too neat. So let's start cutting out. And that's one side done, and a cat. And then when you get to the end of this, you'll find out where your galaxy started and just give it a little bit of a trim. Great. Now I'm going to do the other side. I'm going to start from here. I like a nice round end, but you can make it however you like. And there we have our finished piece. Once you've got your final shape, what we need to do now is poke a hole through the center of our paper. To do this, what I'd like to do is get our blue tack, put it at the center of our galaxy, I'd then like to try and flip it over, there we go, and place the center of it on the table under the blue tack. That way, we can poke a hole in the center without having to worry about stabbing ourselves in our fingers. Once you've got a sizable hole in it, we can remove the blue tack and then we get to the fun part. This is when we get to decorate our galaxy. Now, if you have any other kinds of craft supplies, like different kinds of stickers, this is a good time to use them. I don't have too many stickers at home, which is my own fault. Um, but I'm gonna add some purple stars to my galaxy first of all, which look pretty neat. Purple stars don't actually exist, but this is my galaxy and I get to do what I like with it. And then I'm also gonna draw on some stars. I'm gonna get some red stars on the go. I'm gonna have some yellow stars. Some blue stars. Now you don't have to just use pens. I have pens at home. But if you have things like chalk, or even you could explore what it's like to do it with paints. And also you can get other items that you can just glue on as well. 
gonna do a couple of different shapes of stars with my white one. And then I've got a couple of scraps of colored paper here as well that I'm going to just glue on. You don't really get pink stars, but again, it's my universe. And there you have it, I think that looks pretty good. And then finally, when you're happy with your galaxy, all you need to do next is get your piece of string. I'm gonna go for about that length. And then all you need to do is thread it through the bottom of your galaxy, tying a knot at the other end. And there we have our spiral galaxy. I hang it up. And congratulations, you have made yourself a galaxy spiral. We'd love to see how you get on making your own galaxy spirals, and you can even make some with your family. A collection of galaxies getting together is called a supercluster. So even at home with your own family, you could make a supercluster. And there's not just one supercluster in our universe either. There are millions of them. So even though sometimes our family can feel like they're really far apart, like galaxies away even, we can still create our own superclusters and we can still keep connected within our own universe. So enjoy making your galaxy spirals, everyone. We'd love to see how you get on and happy International Families Day. Please join us again for another 10 a.m. slot of GSC at home.